Oh, great. Team Nimi is in on this. Jiggle Physics. Jiggle Physics. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hyrule Warriors. Hello. My name is Carlio. And I'm the, the, the gamer. And yeah, uh, Hyrule Warriors. It was released in uh, 2015 by Koei Tecmo, developed by Omega Force and uh, Team Ninja. As you know, saw that before. Um, uh, it's just, just you know, awesome combined. You know, you get, you got Team Ninja, who's pretty good doing their own stuff. They've done some good things. You got Omega, you know, Force, who've done awesome Dynasty Warrior games. So yeah, and not to mention, we all know that Team Ninja has great history with Nintendo. Hey, I. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, hate for this, but I actually enjoy all the rap. Yeah, uh, whatever. And I would now have people popping with me. Do you not enjoy Black Sludge? Well, yeah. I like the smooth stuff. So. Hey. Mm. It's always dark times in Hyrule. <laughs> Literally, Hyrule sucks. It's the worst place. It actually is. Like... I love the series, but I never want to live there. Yeah. Maybe after whenever the legendary hero has done his work, then you know, until the next generation, then it sucks again. Basically, just live there for like ten years or something, and then get the fuck out. Oh, oh, let's play a game. Spot the main character. Well, all these guys seem to suck. Oh, hey, what about that guy in that blue feather? The dude, the dude on the left? Yeah, yeah, he's totally the main character. Yeah. Oh shit, he blocked! Why is he the only guy- wait a minute, now that I think about it, is Link the only guy that has a shield in this in this cutscene? Everyone, ha yeah, everyone else seems to have his pikes. Apparently, yeah, well, you know, the moment you have two-headed weapons, you cannot have a shield. It's, you know, it's the rules of every, you know, game ever. Yeah, no, it's like, I can buy that, but why is Link the only one that trains in a shield and a sword? I don't know, maybe you get to choose. Either you get a shield and sword, or you get, you know, pikes. And everyone else make bad mistakes? Okay. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what makes, makes sense? Because our Hyrule guards are bad. They suck. The, the, cap ca the, the captain's... okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, that guy even has a bow and arrow. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. Oh, no, the bad guys. You can tell they're bad because they have red eyes and green eyes and, like, fog, whatever. Yeah, but the dude next to him, the dude... The dude walking the red is the badass. He's the Lu Boo in this game, I'll tell you. You can tell because he's super red. Crimson red, even. Because of all the blood that he's gained in this non violent game. Oh, see, so there's a loading screen. It's a good loading screen. Yeah. Too, bad it's, too bad it's a bit too long. Even yeah. with the installation. <laughs> uh, if you stay on it for too long, actually, Link, the Octorok will come back and shoot Link and straighten his body, and he will drop the Triforce, so yeah, good job, Link. Anyway, welcome to Hyrule Field. Looks a bit damaged, gonna, not, gonna be, not gonna lie. So we jump straight into the well, I guess not really straight into the combat, because we had, you know, cutscenes or whatever. But, um, yeah. You, uh, when you start up the game the first time, actually, I should probably tell you about this first. Uh, technically, I started up this game, this save file, rather, uh, a little beforehand, made so I can skip a lot of the opening, like, nonsense, like the game telling you about uh, all the updates that has happened, all the characters that the updates unlocked. It also lets you show uh, what type of uh, style of gameplay you want, if you're used to, or if you're used to the, uh, I have Zelda gameplay, or if you're used to the Warriors gameplay. I show Zelda because... I, I, I use the Dynasty Wars because I play them since uh, 6, so... Yeah, and I... The one Warriors game I have played is... Uh, it's the Gundam one. Which was like the uh, demo. Yeah, like... At least, like, uh, Dynasty Wars Gundam 3 was decent, but... All of them sucks in my account. Yeah. But basically, Dude. basically, it just it matters what buttons you press and whatnot. For yeah, Zelda, for Zelda style, it's still you know, it's a basically it's a two-button combat brawler. You have your normal attack button, you have your combo attack button. Status, status slash, uh, you know, hack and slash type of games. You know, one versus a million. Yeah, you also have a special <gasps> attack button, which you saw there before, which was Link. Link special attack is he does a big spin slash. I say that the spin slash is really OP, even in an early game. You just because of the wide range, you can actually damage. Yeah. Later on, it becomes even more so. 
Also, I forgot to mention, we just met a new character. Yeah, Proxy. Or as... Or as it actually is called Navi in Japan. Yeah. So he's not really new, I guess. I don't understand why they not decided to go with that, so... Oh, well, you, as you know, all the bad things connected to... Okay, Navi, we need to I shut guess. up the most badass person ever showed up in this video game. <laughs> oh no, Lu Bu, what are you doing here? This Lu Bu, he, 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 you know, fused with the dragon. <laughs> Literally, actually. He uh, is so badass. Yeah, so here's Volga. Volga, as you might uh, know, he actually has... He's not... There is actually a character in the Zelda universe, well, dragon in the Zelda universe called the Volga. I forget his name. The Volga. Yeah, the Volga. So obviously his name is derived from that. He's not Vol Volvagia himself, but yeah. Also, in this he's, universe, he is. Yeah. But also, he's kind of a chump in this first level. He's pretty much it. Like unless you go on the higher difficulties, then he becomes a a, a threat. Yeah, but. It, well, honestly, even on the high difficulty, at least in this opening stage, he's still pretty much just a champ. So yeah. it's, basically, he's just an introductory boss to weak point smashes, which you saw there before, and also health, proper health gauges, I guess. Yes, take him down. I mean, oh shit, I'm rooting root for the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. He's just a badass, most because he kind of has this whole like warrior mentality, like he's willing to give people a war, like fight for your life. Also, he has uh, generally good moves, which is he has some amazing moves in this game. Yeah, but we'll get to that at some point. Also, he just oh, yeah. also he just won, I guess, because he used fire. Fire tends to be a pretty good choice in winning. Oh no! It turns out he has light. Light beats fire. Man, I need to play Pokemon again. Oh well, whatever. And now some awesome music kicks up again. Yeah. I gotta hand it to it, and I'm actually gonna point out when my favorite song comes up, which is later in this let's play. But I'll say this: the soundtrack is really good. The, oh the, yeah. The remixes of of the of the original Zelda tracks are good, but I love the most are the original uh, soundtracks that shows up actually. Yeah, like... there are some original ones actually, and they are fantastic. It's your typical awesome like dinosaur words kind of mixed into it. Mhm. Mm no, yeah, no, I really like the music. So uh, I guess we should kind of talk about the different enemies you will be facing. Mostly, obviously, we're facing all the mooks, which are the small the thing enemies. That just died. That's your stand. That's your standard kind of like high tier. Yeah, I, I, I like they don't really have names. I call them captains myself because they are. You know, they c usually command a smaller group of mooks. There are also uh, sub-commanders, which are smaller bosses, which we won't really be seeing in just in this level. And they also have commanders, which are the they, they, they are the, they, the leader of the army. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the Legends mode, we won't really, really be seeing a lot of you know different sub-commanders and commanders. But oh, we, yeah. Legends yeah, we'll, we'll see a bunch of them. Most mostly, we'll be focused on unlocking items, which, for, for example. We have the bombs! Yay! Time to blow shit up! Yeah, uh, thankfully, unlike in normal Zelda where you have a finite amount of bombs, in this game you have infinite amount of bombs and you can throw five at the same time. Which, yeah, usually you still be using your sword for reasons. But yeah, speaking of adventure mode, I got a story when we should go to that. I got a story about how I spent a week trying to get one weapon. Yeah, you can uh, show us what item you're using. Spoilers, by the way, we, we will be getting more items, obviously. Oh, it's just added fell Th that's one of the unique things that uh, no other like uh, Dynasty game had, is the whole that uh, there are items in this game where you use. Yeah, and they are used for blowing up rocks. The bombs use, use for blowing up rocks and also for some other things, like... Uh, w one thing that uh, Dynasty games usually have that this one isn't, is that uh, usually uh, your standard moves drops like small powers like defense up or speed up or attack up in this game uh, i don't remember the being anything uh, uh there were, well no there are no uh, stat ups instead we had the uh, item power ups but we'll exactly. get that later i don't think they even show up in this level actually uh, uh usually they also have rare rain recoils to the p item power ups yeah in any the case only, the only good, the only good ones are the bomb ones <laughs> Because of how big and the big explosions are. Uh, yeah, basically. In any case, uh, here we have enemy keeps. 
basically how it works is that you just kill all the uh, mooks inside the keep. A captain uh, will show up and then you kill the captain and boom, you got it! Yeah, or look, a keep it, boss as they are called. And look, a moose attack. Yeah, yeah, moose attack, so skill attack, whatever it's... Uh, it's called moose in the, at least in the war games. Yeah. As you can see, there is a uh, there's a keep uh, a keep takeover bar. I forget the exact term right now, sadly, but yeah. But then, uh, yeah, deplete it. The keep boss shows up. Kill the keep boss. You take over the keep. It's pretty simple, honestly. And it works both ways. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Although, like enemies it, will take over your keeps if you let them oh, do it. Although it doesn't happen as often in like the the normal difficulty. It's mostly the higher ups when they deal much more damage and you deal base and your comrade deals nothing. Yeah, essentially you have to just ignore enemy captains for that to happen. But uh, yeah. in in the legends mode at least, in adventure mo mode, yeah, there's a bit different. But then again, adventure mode is just different in general. Oh, oh yeah, uh, so well, here we have, so here the game tells us about focus bear because we just fill out our focus bar, which is the green one on the left up there. It's basically magic mode, you get stronger, uh, when you turn it on actually the game slows down for a little, for like some seconds as well. And uh, yeah, I'll show and, it up. Uh, it's, it's a pretty decent one, but although you usually save this one up for when you meet uh, uh, characters like uh, Volga and uh, people there because they are much more tougher so yeah when you I, I did that or when you're surrounded by a bunch of enemies like for example here I felt like it was a good choice to do it also for some reason as you notice here a lot by the way for some reason the Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors has this kind of glitch where if you are moving the camera at the same time as you're turning on something where the camera would be focusing on the character or the, the PC as you're playing as it just kind of glitches out and just focuses and just do not like do a close up instead. Huh. It's kind of weird. It happens <laughs> to me a lot because I tend to move around the camera a lot. In any case, the game wants us to take over those keeps that are currently being uh, surrounded by green, green squares. Uh, we won't do that because we because as soon as we do these, this area of the map will actually be closed off, and instead we will be trying to collect these chests. Yeah, so the chest actually has uh, specific things that you kind of want. Yeah, but and if I think it is, it's yeah. A heart piece, yeah. So no. how how pieces of hearts and heart containers work in this game? Now we have a bit longer heart heart uh, life bar in this game than in the usual Zelda's. So basically, you have to play as a specific character on a on the map and take, do a specific thing, like for example, take over that keep, or blow up this rock nearby as Link on this first level. Yeah, there, there are some... Well, there, and, there are two, or, or there, and, there, rather. There are the two kinds of hearts. You got the typical heart piece, and then you got a heart container. Yeah. Usually the heart container is usually a bit more harder, because again, it gives you an entire new heart, extra heart, so... Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. The heart piece, you, much like most Zelda games, I say oh. most because I think Twilight Princess was the only one that had five heart pieces. But that yeah. is the only one that had five. Yes. Yeah, but in this game you have four, four heart pieces. That is more than just ten. I never understood why they did that with Twilight Princess. Because they wanted to put in more content. I guess. Although. Yeah. Or, or, or like, uh, oh, what's it? Uh, Enoma. Enoma. He really wanted to have heart pieces in dungeons, and, that, and the only way to do it was to have five heart pieces. <laughs> I guess is one way of putting it. I guess. Yeah. Uh, as you've seen here, by the way, we've been following a lot of the Salfos. They're kind of the... Um, the standard one? Yeah, at least for these uh, Moblin troops. Of course, troops. There, there are sub version of them that can actually fly, but we'll see them later on. Yeah, Arialfos. But uh, the Salfos themselves, they have two flame attacks. They are, they, they, both are flame breathing attacks. The, other, the only difference between them is that the, they glow before... In the first, in the first one, they just... They do a fire breath, breath attack and put up a wall of fire. But the second one, they will glow, do a fire breath attack, and then they will do a tail swipe. So yeah, it's pretty easy to dodge, obviously. But th yeah, then, yeah. You usually try just to either go round and roll into them so you can quickly, you know, get the entire weakness bar down. Yeah. Actually, speaking of rolling, I guess we should talk about a bit more about movement, uh, well, gameplay in particular. So Link, outside of the special attacks and attacking and 
whatnot. You, you, Link can also do a well. The character, the player character, can also defend by p either putting up their shield. Wait, or they whatever. can defend. Not ever defend in this game. You never defend in Dynasty Warrior games. <laughs> it's actually pretty. It's, well, blocking. Oh, actually, I should actually, say okay. blocking. Yeah. Blocking is actually pretty useful because it stops, you know, enemy attacks. Also, we're running over here to stop an enemy invasion because otherwise they will take over that keep, and when they do, we're basically just screwed. Um, but I, yeah, I get, but, I get that, but usually in like the you don't really need to worry about when it comes to like the to um, like uh, normal and hard, not really. But it's like when you go to above those, that's when blocking becomes a very yeah, and also when you don't want your health to fall below a certain level, which will happen sometimes in the adventure yeah, ma mode maps. But again, we'll get to that at some later po point. Um. Oh yeah, but also outside of, besides defending, which you do with the uh, with one of the uh, SR buttons. Oh yeah, also. Wow, the game is These going on way too fast. These are annoying to get. I will. Tell well. That. Uh, okay, so Scotch. So sorry for breaking in the middle of the thing, but Scotch does have Scotch does can appear on well most maps. Uh, yeah, in Legends mode, there are in in Legends mode there are two on each map. One for normal mode and one for when you finish the game and get hard mode. For no in normal mode. Well, normal, normal mode Scotchless, you just have to get kill a thousand enemies, and then you have to run over as quickly as possible to the Scotchless position, listen for where it is, and kill it. If you don't, uh, the Scotchless can disappear, and that's yeah, bad. Yeah, you have to redo it all over again. And you need to finish the level anyway. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Uh, in hard mode, well, I will make a video later showing where the hard mode Scotchless are. But uh, for reference sake, it's over here, near the uh, castle keep. Yeah, they usually show up, a, the hard one shows up a bit after you've gone a certain point for every type of map, so... Yeah. In any case, going back to uh, movement, there is all, outside of blocking, you can also do a dodge roll, which you do with the... I use that one a whole lot. Yeah. The thing about dodge roll, actually, it is kind of broken, because you can actually... It, it kind of almost gives you a full invisibility... For most some attacks, it gives you a full invisibility frame through the whole dodge roll. And so, you can also cancel uh, almost an attack, so... Uh, mo yeah, some attacks you can also cancel with the dodge roll. So it's very important that you learn dodge dodging mechanics. So mostly, it's mostly when you actually start facing up the more bigger uh, enemies that we're going to see in later. Yeah. Uh, in, in the campaign later. Yeah, it gets kind of silly, some, honestly. There are some bullshit, and oh my god, she, yeah. <laughs> Giant fairies. In 3D. I mean, she doesn't look as, as bad as she did, like, you know, in, you know, original Ocarina of Time, or she kind of looked a bit weird also in the remake of the 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I felt that they didn't need to make her rounder in the 3D remakes, but whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, a giant bomb. Time for some colony dropping! Hooray! But yeah, as you, saw, as you noticed there, if you stand around here for too long, the enemies will actually break down the upper wall and start running in. Which will happen usually if you just if you just uh, run around in the top map for too much. Usually it's it's not really a problem. Yeah, honestly. never happened I'll, to me. <laughs> yeah. Also, the game tells us here about morale, uh, how it works. Well, as the... It's not, it's not a big deal. You, you kind of forget it, even in the Dynasty Wars, there's some morale system, yeah. which basically, like, it, it's... If the morale is low, they deal lesser and have weaker defense, and it goes vice versa, so... The real, the most important point is that you don't want the enemy to have higher, uh, high morale, because it makes it harder to defeat them. Generally, yeah, especially if your own, if your own side had low morale, because it affects everyone except yourself. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, do you know? Hey, guess something. Guess what? What? The dawn ghost is like smoke. Oh god. <laughs> no, like okay, yeah. So yeah, here is so. Here's oh our, yeah. Here's our first big boss. Yeah. So one thing that's different between this game and well. Any other dinos, Any other warrior type. Yeah, game. is that there's one more uh, character class, uh, one more enemy class in this in this game. That's uh, there are bosses. Uh, we're not talking again, you stand. You've already seen them, but we're talking about big motherfucker. Oh yeah, big. they are big. The way these... that they, they have a specific point to, to defeat them. If you don't 
the, if you don't, you have to basically find a way to open up their weak point and then try to defeat them as fast as possible while the weak point is still up. For the Dongo, it's obvious. The Dongo is just like smoke, throw bombs in his mouth when he opens it up his mouth. Uh, well, when he does that sucking, when he does his charging attack, I guess you could say. Uh, you can also do kind of a uh, nice amount of damage by using uh, the special attack, but you most you don't want to rely on that. You mostly want to rely on just the throwing, finding the waypoint. And yeah, when you do that, it does a reason like this. Yeah, it does a lot, a lot more damage. The but thing there... is that you, you, you should always a, a common strategy throughout all of them is basically when this weak point, when the weak point boy show up, you do like one or two normal combos and then you end with a super to at least try to go low so the next time you get it. You don't have to wait too long. Yeah. Uh, as you also notice here, if a boss stands around in the key for too long, he will eventually take it over because he's just that big. Also, one more thing to open up a weak point, you can also use the uh, focus spirit. Either uh, focus spirits have two m modes of special have two special attacks. Either by waiting around for it to run out, you'll do a big AOE, or you can just press the X button, the special attack button directly, and it will do a special attack. A special a to end the focus spirit uh, early earlier, and using that focus spirit attack will uh, open up the weak point on them on any on anyone actually on not just on bosses but also on uh, commanders and yeah. captains. The thing so is also the thing is also the it, it's also always depends on situation. If you're in a keep, you kind of want it to go drain down just so you can get the AOE out. Yeah. In and on the fight, if you're fighting a boss or something like, it's best to just go in that. Last couple times and then just go for the stab because otherwise you're just sitting there waiting. Yeah, it's not really any point. But so yeah, we just defeated King Dodongo and all the enemies has disappeared because they're oh no, he defeated King Dodongo. And oh no, it was a ruse all along. <laughs> Turns out Zelda's kidnapped. <laughs> See if this was a Mario and Luigi game, they would just instantly be making fun of this. Oh, they kidnapped the princess again. They kind of did that in Paper Jam, actually. I'm back, I've been playing that now. They've done it every single... Yeah, but here they actually sort of make fun of it. They, like, Peach like, If I had to yell Mario one more time, I'm gonna scream! <laughs> Why you help me? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh no, not <laughs> random mooks. Oh, thank god, Impa was here to save us from normal mooks. She's pretty badass, actually. Most of her... Uh, I, I would say the, the whip... The, um, most of these people actually have secondary weapons, as we're going to show see much later. Although Link is the one with the biggest arsenal, because yeah, because main character. Also, are you willing to accept this bitch and scarf? I got that bitch and scarf myself. It's great. I, I actually really like the scarf. I'm not even joking. That's why I bought it. That's yeah. why I bought the limited edition. That was yeah, I wish I'd bought the limited edition. <laughs> I was. Also, wait, wait, oh wait, wait. What, what's that? I don't know. I think I hear talking. Is that, is that voice acting? No. In a Zelda game? No! CDI, what have you done to us? But yes, it's voice acting. It's pretty uh, basic. I think it might be the same one that... I, I'm not gonna say anything. I th like, I was trying to think, because it sounded very monotone, so I thought thinking it was maybe it was the Samus from Mother M. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. No, it's too... No, too uh, it's, it's too... Uh, Shipper, I guess. But yeah, she'll the the. I, 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 I always speculate with the voices, but I'm gonna uh, say when that person show up, actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, who the actual voices in the game? Yeah, probably there's someone else. But yeah, as it turns out, one generation of the links were smart enough to seal away the evil pieces of evil inside four different places. So that's probably the smartest thing a link has ever done. Yeah. Uh, I would say the second best part is actually, you know, you know, banish the evil. Yeah, but that will never happen. Please. Police. So after finishing a map, uh, you get rank. Oh, screen. You get a battle record to see how much rupees. You get rupees depending on what clear bonus you have, a clear time, and etc. If you do it also, on a higher difficulty, you get a small time bonus. Yeah, and also see you can see weapons, including for the ones for the characters that you have unlocked. Even for the ones that you unlock from the beginning, because you turn on the game, because, you know, updates and stuff. So, oops, spoilers, I guess. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of saw a spoiler character there. Yeah. Now also, we get free mode, adventure mode, challenge mode, and gallery. Also, imagine this going on for about five minutes. That's how opening up this game for the first time after a bunch of updates is like. 
This is horrendous. I hate this noise. <laughs> you get pretty tired of that. Really tired. 